Hi, let us discuss the solution of this problem. In this problem, we are given n strings and we need to find the common prefix. So let us first know what is prefix. So suppose we have a, b, c and d. So what I say is if we start from 0 till any, okay, 0 till any i such that it is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So if I say that the substring from 0 till any i which is within the range would be a substring. That is the starting point of that substring should be from 0. So either I can take a, okay, either I can take a, b or either I can take a, b, c or either I can take the whole string. Everyone is a substring itself. Now let's move back and understand the problem. So what we need to do is we need to find the common prefix among all of those. So finding the common prefix is very easy. Okay, but the implementation would be a little tough. Why? Because there are different solutions to this. Okay, first let us discuss the sample test case itself. So let us first see the first case that is G the same, G is same, G is same, G is same. So we now know that the longest common prefix would at least have one character. Then E same, E same, E same, E same. Okay, two characters. Again E same, E same, E same, E same. Three characters. Then we have K. Here we have K. Here we have K. But here we have Z. So the longest common prefix is 3 itself. So we can print the substring from 0 to 3 of any of the string. And that would be our answer itself. Hope you are clear with this. So, what we can do is, we can do in the same way. Like, we would take the first string and then suppose this is the first string, then we would find like this, okay. So, we would have an iterator over this point, okay. Suppose this is character is same. So, we would go to all the rest of the characters to see if there is any same characters or not. If everyone is same, then I would increase the counter and then I would take the minimum of them. Why take the minimum of them? Because suppose the first character, so suppose the first character and the second character is matching of four characters. Okay. But here in this, we are matching three characters. So we can say that the minimum of all the matching number of characters will be the common prefix itself. Okay, so now, but this solution has a time complexity of n into n square. That is, if we are standing on this string, we need to iterate over all the next string itself. Okay, now n into m, there is one more solution to this. What can be the other solution? The other solution would be like this. Suppose we have A, B, C and D. When we have only A, B, C. When we have A, B, A, B, C and Z. Then we have A and C. Okay. So now if we sort this, then the lexicographically smallest string would be at the top. And the next string would be like the previous string. Third string would be like the previous string. So if we compare opposite string, most opposite string, then we can find the longest common prefix. To find the, to compare the opposite string, we need the opposite string that are, they are completely, they are the most different string between them. So what we can say, we can sort the string and the first string and the last string would be the most opposite. The difference would be largest. So if the difference is largest, then we can just iterate over them. It would be more clear when we start the implementation. And the time complexity of this would be the expected time complexity. Now let us start the implementation itself. So we can, I would name it as A. Then what we would say is as we are comparing two strings, first and the last. So we need to handle the cases for 0 and 1. Okay. So, what we would do is, if n is equals to equals to 0, we would return 
minus one itself. Okay, if n is equals to equals to one, then the string it would be the string itself. So return a of zero itself. Now if all these cases are not true, then what we would be doing is sort a and then a plus n till the end. Then what we would do is we would find the minimum size. So we, I would say int l is equals to y minimum because suppose the first character is of length 5 and the next character is of length 3. Then the longest common prefix won't exceed length 3. Okay, because there is no characters only. How can we do that? So I would say that it is minimum of a of 0 dot size. Okay. And then it would be a of n minus 1 that is the last string dot size itself. We got the minimum length that we need to traverse. Now we would have the length as c is equals to 0. The length of the longest common prefix. This would be initially 0. And then the iterator i is equals to 0. So we would use a while loop simply. If i is less than l and n because we just need to check the index out of bound first. And then if it is within the boundary, then we would say that if a of 0 of i is equals to equals to a of n minus 1, a of n minus 1 of what i am, okay. If these two conditions are fulfilled, we would increase the length also, we would increase the iterator also. Both of them would be increased. Now, if there is no character that has matched, so if c is equals to equals to 0, we would return minus 1. So we would return minus 1 itself in the form of string. Remember this. Now what we can do is return any one substring. So a of 0 dot sub str 0 and the number of characters here. Let us see how many mistakes I did. Okay. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.